Hey city kids, oh my goodness. I miss you guys so much. We all miss you. We miss seeing you guys on a Sunday. Um, but today we are so thankful for platforms such as YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and um, where we get to still stay connected and we get to have fun together and learn together. Um, so we want to tell you a little bit about our series that we are starting today. Uh, it's called Courage. You will find it here on YouTube over the next five weeks. So be sure to follow along. Right now, we are gonna stand up wherever you are. If you're in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your lounge, stand up, have fun while we worship, um, dance, and just be with God. strength is gone you're the one who calls me on you are the life you are the fight that's in my soul oh your resurrection power burns like fire in my heart when waters rise i lift my eyes up to your throne
not bound to sin or to shame. We are defiant in your name. You are the fire that cannot be tamed. You are the power in our veins, our Lord, our good.
living it? Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith there in the life I never known to touch. And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love worshiping with you guys, even if we're not in the same room. Um, today, we are going to be learning about David and Goliath in 1 Samuel. Um, we're going to be looking at how God gives David courage to go into battle with a giant, but how God wins the battle. I don't know about you, but right now it feels like we're facing our own Goliath and our own battle, the coronavirus, and we need a little bit of courage. And so I hope that this um, lesson brings you closer to that and reminds you that God gives us courage and God gives us strength to get through anything and that he has already won the battle, just like he gave little old David um, the victory over his giant. God can give you victory over all the battles that you face. And this is the lounge where we come to relax and eat our meals. I see. You're, you're writing that down? Why, why, why are you writing that down? <laughs> Don't be nervous. I was simply sent here by the Connect Board to see how things are going around here and I want to be thorough. Now, judging by your clipboard, you seem like someone who can respect thoroughness, right? Oh, okay. I used to have a job just like yours, but I can tell you that we run a very tight ship around here. Ah, but it can always be tighter, couldn't it, dear? Now, as long as uh, Captain Ray is keeping up with Connect standards, you should have nothing to worry about. Well, I... I think she's supposed to be here any moment now. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. Now, can you direct me to your coffee maker? <laughs> coffee maker? Yeah, but how can you possibly work without coffee? Oh, once you meet Mike, you will understand why we cannot have readily accessible coffee. <laughs> That's it. We are Connect HQ. HQ. Every day, we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Luke, and this is how we met the whip. Dot, what is red has claws and never cleans up its messes. Mm, I don't know. A slobster. <laughs> <laughs> and here are two more of our Connect HQ crew members. This is Dot, and this is Mike. Actually, Dot, uh, this is Miss Pamela Whipple, and she was sent by the Connect HQ board to see how we're doing since we launched. So you're here to tell us if we're not doing things right? Oh, heavens no. I was just sent here by the Connect board to see how things are going. I'm sure everything is hunky-dory. Oh, yeah, I can assure you. 
They are Hunky and Dory. Hey, Luke. Huh? What's red has claws and never cleans up messes. I don't know. Uh, excuse me, are we here to tell jokes or are we here to do a better job than the day before? Um, sure. We get our problems from a walk-in or a field office message. And if you don't receive either of those, you just stand around and wait for one? Uh... Or we could check the mailbox for a postcard. Miss Whipple, I do apologize that I'm late. I was in a prayer meeting with the Quiet Time group. Hmm, the famous Captain Ray. It's a pleasure to meet you. And you as well, Miss Whipple. I did my research. Hmm, please, call me by my nickname. <laughs> All my friends do. Uh, uh, Pam? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, actually, they call her the Whip. Because my last name is Whipple. Or because she's tough like a whip. Mike, do be a dear and see if there's a postcard in there for me. Sure, Miss the Whip. All right. Oh, hey, we do have one. It's from Chris from Columbus, Ohio. And he says, Dear Connect HQ, I've got a problem. There's a kid in my class who doesn't quite fit in with everyone else. My friends make fun of him and call him names and say that he's weird. Can you help? Of course we can help. OK, team. Dot and Luke, if you'll find the Bible link, and Mike, if you'll find the verse link, then Pamela and I will stay here and find the point link together. Now, how do we discover a link? Let me show you. Dot, Luke, do you guys mind demonstrating how we might find a Bible link? We could search for something about how Jesus loved people who are on the outside looking in. Yeah, but he's asking to have courage to stand up for people on the outside. Let's put in a keyword search for courage in the Bible app. Ah, the perfect Bible story about someone who had courage to do the right thing when everyone else was afraid. Check this out. This says it's 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let us blow up all the pages that this show gone off. Let us world explode from this video into your life. King Saul and the army of Israel were at war with their old enemies, the Philistines, again. But instead of a battle, the Philistines sent out their champion to taunt King Saul's army, the giant Goliath, who was nine feet tall. Choose one man to come over here and fight me. If he kills me, we'll be your slaves. But if I kill him, you'll be our slaves. I defy the armies of Israel. Who has the courage to fight me? Far from the battle in the town of Bethlehem lived a young man named David. His father had sent his oldest three brothers to join King Saul's army but David stayed home to care for the family's sheep. Take this food to your brothers. See how they're doing and bring me back a report of the battle. Have you seen the giant? He comes out every night to insult us. What would somebody get for killing this Philistine to stop that laughing? King Saul said he'll get a princess for his wife and his family will never pay taxes again. Who does this sweaty Philistine think he is? No one's allowed to insult the armies of the living God. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be babysitting the sheep? You're just trying to watch the real men fight. Now, go on home. What have I done now? I was only asking a question. King Saul wants to see you! Don't you worry about this Philistine. I'll go fight him. Don't be ridiculous. You can't beat him. You're just a boy and he's spent his whole life training to be a soldier. I've spent my whole life training too. When wild animals came and attacked my father's sheep, I take my club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. I've killed a lion and a bear, and I'll kill this ugly Philistine who dares to insult our God. 
The Lord who rescued me from the lion and the bear will rescue me today, too. All right, go ahead. May the Lord be with you, but wear my armor. I can't wear these. I'm not used to them. God will protect me. David walked to the creek and picked up five smooth stones. Armed with only his staff and sling, he went to face Goliath. You come at me with a stick? <laughs> you come at me with a sword and spear? I come at you in the name of the Lord of the Heaven's Armies, who you have insulted. I'm going to kill you and cut off your head. Everyone gathered here will know that the Lord rescues his people. David's small stone hit Goliath smack between the eyes. This is the Lord's battle, and he always wins. And we'll use a story like this to illustrate courage to the person asking for help. Mm -hmm. So it requires three separate links to make a connection transmission? Actually, four if you count the Livet link. Do you mind if I try something perhaps a little quicker? By all means, go ahead. Based on my personal research, we don't need all of these links in order to make a good connection transmission. Well, I know we do things here at Connect HQ a little different, but do we I find it- Do I have the floor? Of course. Then please don't interrupt, Captain. Sorry. You spend a lot of time researching these links. I believe you're doing this because you're not, you're not trusting yourself. So listen to the problem. You already know the answer. But we need to see what the Bible says Dear, about- the postcard is simply saying this. What do you do when someone is lonely and being picked on? Stand up for it. <laughs> exactly. You already know the answer. It is simple advice. With all due respect, we don't just give advice. It's about more than that. Stand it's down, a... Captain. <laughs> Guys, I am not the bad guy here. I am simply trying to find you a way to save time. Surely you can all agree that we want to respond as quickly as possible. Yes, but we need to make sure All that we need to do is send something like this. Dear Chris, gather your courage and be friends with the kids who are lonely. Connect HQ is here to help you. Short, sweet, like me. On to the next problem. Mike, be a deer and see if there's another postcard in there for me. Okie dokie. You okay, Captain? Do you agree with her? I think the links are important, but I don't think her answer to that postcard is wrong or bad advice. Yeah, but the postcard asks for courage. Courage is relying on God, not how strong or how tough that you can be. If we only rely on what we know and don't ask God for guidance by searching His Word, our answers could be dangerous. Connect HQ would crumble. I agree, but she does make some good points about efficiency. But as your leader, if I only led by my own strength, I'd never be strong enough to do this day in and day out. I need God's strength to be courageous. God gives me courage to do what's right. Wow, if we were still looking for links, that would be a great point, Link. Who says we're not? God gives me courage to do what's right. Point Link acquired. Where is everyone? They went to meet the different groups with the whip. I said I would stay behind to work, but really I stayed behind because I'm confused. What are you confused about? For this postcard, I knew the answer. Stand up for what is right. But what about the times when I don't know? Without the links, I'm not sure I'll always know the right answer. Well, Dot, that's why we have the process that we have, to make sure that we're speaking God's truth and not just saying what we want to say. So if she wants us to do something different, we can still make sure that we're keeping our eyes open for the right thing to do. It's like the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. I don't know that one. Can you help me memorize it? Sure. Repeat after me. Okay. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. B 
Be on guard, stand firm in the faith. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be strong. Be strong. See, courage isn't just about showing off how strong or how smart you are. Courage is knowing that God is bigger than the challenge. God can bring down the giants when we can't. That's right. Verse link, 1 Corinthians 16, 13. First link uploaded. I thought we weren't looking for links anymore. Well, I think that Miss Whipple needs to see what a full connection transmission looks like to get what we do here. So, you want to help me upload the rest of the links? You got it, Captain! Hey, Chris. I'm Ray, and I'm with Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. We not only keep our eyes on the right thing to do, but we stand firm that God will give us the courage to do the right thing when the time is right. When Goliath was bullying God's people, David saw what was happening and was the only one who stood up for what was right. God gave him courage to stand up to Goliath. Courage is doing what is right when other people disagree. It isn't about showing off how strong you are. Courage relies on God's strength, not on our own. If everyone else is mean to someone in your class, you know the right thing is to stand up for him. But you don't have to do it on your own. Remember this point. God gives me courage to do what's right. Rely on his strength to help you stand firm. Thanks, Chris. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I know that you had a different process, but I really wanted you to see what a full transmission looked like and why we find the links that we find. I see. And you believe this way is better than mine. I do. I firmly believe that God can find a better answer than I can on my own. He keeps me on guard and gives me strength. Well, I salute your conviction. You stand up for what you believe is right. Thanks, Miss Whipple. And you are hereby suspended until further notice. <gasps> what? Ray went behind my back and deliberately disobeyed orders. <laughs> Effective immediately, she is no longer captain of this HQ. But you can't do that! I was given the authority to make any changes necessary in order for HQ to run at peak efficiency. And it is my belief that it is necessary for Captain Ray to go. Now! Effective immediately! As you wish. Oh! <laughs> and do be a dear and leave your watch before you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Just say you're sorry. Luke, God gives me courage to do what's right. I'll show you to the door. Come on. <laughs> Oh, that's why they call her the whip. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but Ray did the right thing. Why is she being punished for it? Because that's what courage looks like sometimes. To do the right thing, even when it's hard. Come on, Dot. Let's go make some cheer me up sandwiches. This will be right here waiting on you, Captain. I still can't believe that my friend and Captain was suspended for standing up for what was right. For as long as I've known Ray, she's been a strong follower of Jesus. If you like to follow Jesus and stand up for what is right, all you have to do is remember A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. 
choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Hey City Kids, um, I hope you enjoyed the message video and the lesson about David and Goliath. Um, I just find it so fitting how David was a small little oaky and God gave him courage um, to go into battle and David won when everybody thought that he wouldn't. God gave him the courage and God gave him the victory because the battle already belongs to God and I find comfort in that and I hope you do too. Um, we are going to stand up and do our memory verse together. Let's see if we can all remember it. Okay, so it's 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 6, 13. It says, be on God, stand firm in the faith, be courageous and be strong. <laughs> okay, guys, you know me. I always try and remember it the best I can. You should do that too. Have fun doing it. Tag us in the videos. Um, and then for parents, just know that each week we will have um, a challenge card that you guys can do with your kids. It'll be found in the link below. Um, and we hope you guys have fun doing it. Come up with more questions. Come up with more games and activities. It's just a cool little foundation to do with your kids at home and just explore it and have fun. You have all the time in the world to do it now. <laughs> so we would love to see you guys doing that. Um, we hope you enjoyed today's gathering. We will see you next week for the continued um, lesson.